Hello, everybody. Ray Pitharas from the McAllen Cable Network, getting ready for the City of McAllen's 85th Annual Independence Day Celebration Activities throughout the day on Thursdays to celebrate the 4th of July, all ending up here at the uh, McAllen Veterans Memorial Stadium for the big fireworks show. But we want to talk about the activities going on all day. Joining me right now to talk more about that is Mike Hernandez. He's the Deputy Director of Parks and Recreation and uh, a full day of activities beginning at 8 in the morning, right? 8 in the morning, yes, sir. We have a patriotic program that starts right at Archer Park. And uh, after that, we have the parade at 9 o'clock. A huge parade, a lot it, of entries so far. It is. It's over 100 entries, and uh, we're anticipating it'll last a little more than an hour. And uh, then, of course, when the parade ends, all the festivities start at the park with the Freedom Festival, and that's that's there in Archer Park. All right, and I understand there's going to be a watermelon seed spit. There's going to be a hot dog eating contest, uh, rock wall climbing, all kinds of stuff going on. Bull there, right? riding, all sorts of activities. <laughs> really? for, for Yes. Bull riding. Bull riding as well. Really? Of course, a mechanical bull. <laughs> but it's it's for the adults and the children as well. We want everybody to come have fun. It's uh, celebrating the independent, our independence and uh, enjoying the day with family and friends. Okay, and after Freedom Fest at Archer Park, then we have uh, the Aqua Bash at Municipal Pool, right? That's right. That's right. From 1 to 6 p.m. All right, and then of course at night everybody looks forward to the big fireworks show uh, being presented this year by HEB. It's going to be here in the vicinity of uh, Mack High. And what can people expect with that show? Well, every year we want to make sure it gets bigger and better. Our, our public expects it and almost even demands it. You know, it can't be the same old show as the one we had last year. So uh, we've been working with Zambelli. They've been our provider or a provider of fireworks for over 50 years. Quality show. They're uh, very well known in the fireworks business. Quality, quality and safety as well. And uh, that's something that we were always concerned about. So uh, same location. I know that uh, people have a tradition of coming over to Municipal Park and saying, wow, we enjoy the show. We've been doing it now uh, for over 20 years. And uh, we say, well, come come back. It's bigger and better than ever. The finale, finale is always the best. You know, it's just cool to, to drive around during uh, when people are getting ready to watch the fireworks show because a lot of the neighborhoods, they host big barbecues. You could hear the music going. You can see the smoke going out. And many people even get up on their rooftops. Wow. And, uh, you know, enjoy the show from there. We don't recommend it. We no. just know that it happens, and we hope we just want to make sure everybody just takes care and, and be safe. All right. And, and, of course, we're posting all this information on our city website. In case anybody has questions, they can call the Parks and Recreation Department at what number? 681-3333. All right. Mike Hernandez, appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. And we invite you to be part of the celebration this Thursday. I'm Ray Pedraza. Thanks for watching the McAllen Cable Network.